Um, I really liked Lily Allen's dress. Okay. Um, because obviously she was pregnant. Yeah. She had a bump. Yeah. I think she handled it very well within the design of the dress. Yeah. I loved the sweetness of the lace and the, the way that she had the um, empire line, yeah. the waistline, and I just thought it was very sweet. She brought all the attention to her face, yeah. which kind of made the bump go away a little bit. Yeah. And it was just a very sweet English, beautiful wedding yeah. dress. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, actually, I mean, one of the questions I was going to kind of come on to, but as we're kind of here now, if, you know, you're a bride and you're pregnant, is that the kind of way to go with the Empire line? Definitely. Um, Empire line dresses, especially in lace, will yeah. kind of fall away from just under the bust line. Yeah. And it's good to imagine a kind of like a picture frame around your face and try and bring all the attention upwards to your face. Yeah. And then everything else just kind of disappears away. Okay. And I she think had, she did that very yeah. well. And she had that great headpiece. She did. She? And, yeah. and again, it was it, it took your eye away from from yeah. her stomach area, and you know she had quite an outrageous headdress, but yeah. her neckline was very beautiful, and the whole dress and the whole mood of it was very uplifting towards her face. Okay. Which Perfect. I thought was very beautiful. Yeah, it was. It was lovely. Um, uh, Ian, has it has her dress had an effect on you and your designs? Um, I think what we all need to re realise is that lace never ever was out of bridal fashion. Okay. Lace has always been in bridal fashion. Yeah. Um, I think this is just a reminder, this wedding has just been a reminder yeah. that, that lace is associated with weddings. Okay, lace hasn't ever gone away, but it seems to be a, a kind of big trend this year. We've talked about the Pippa effect. What other trends are you seeing in terms of, uh, you know, for wedding dresses? Which of your wedding dresses are really popular at the moment? What style? Um, one thing that we've heard quite a lot of yeah. is that a lot of girls are now having two dresses one for the day and one for the evening and that's one okay. definite definite right if, you know if, if the budget allows yeah yeah but that's definitely been something that we've we've had a lot of orders for and yeah. a lot of requests for and is that are they do they kind of are they similar or is are they really two different dresses they're really two cool. different dresses okay and, and obviously depending on depending on the party yeah girls want to be able to move around a lot more and they yeah. to give their their new husband a nice surprise and yeah they, they tend to keep it secret okay as well. Um, but the other the other kind of fashions and, and trends that we're seeing coming through is colour. Yeah. A lot more coloured wedding dresses. I mean, we we do a lot of coloured wedding dresses. Yeah. You know, and if you have a dress with a colour on it, it can it can help you theme your wedding from yeah. your flowers to your table decorations, and it ties the whole thing together. So that's definitely themed weddings and and dresses with colour on them. Yeah. Okay. And do you have one dress that is your most popular dress? Yeah, at the moment we have a dress called Flower Bomb. Right. And it, it, it kind of truly reflects our style, it ticks all the boxes. Yeah. It's really kind of, I think every designer has their own different style. Yeah. And, and we, I think, have ours and that's yeah. the kind of dress that people come to us for. Yeah. And it says everything about us, so okay. I wouldn't say that one is the one. Okay, so thank you to Ian Stewart of Ian Stewart Bride. I believe that you have some dresses that are being sold by some of the boutiques here. Yes. Okay, so you can find some around the show. Thank you very much. Thank you.